least 18 obsidian will do us for now. Probably. I mean, if it doesn't, what the hell have we been doing? Well, it depends. Are we going to uh, use the other blocks I was talking about? Um, we could. I don't see any reason we couldn't. Hmm. Because because we still have quite a bit of netherrack on hand, don't we? Yeah, and it's not like we can't get more very easily. So we just have to smelt it first. Yeah. That's not a big deal. We have an infinite supply of wood. Haha. <laughs> so we <laughs> we're adults. <laughs> um we have an infinite supply of wood, so we can always go, you know, make coal and charcoal. Well, we make charcoal, not coal. Damn it. Damn what it. What are you doing? I'm just adding this because I realized that with the half slab up here, there is actually no way whatsoever to get up here to harvest things. Way to go. Yeah, I, I planned ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go try to make a portal modifier block. All right. Say goodbye to two diamonds. Oy vey. I know it's worth it, but still, oy vey. <laughs> All right. So I'll need that. Actually, maybe do we have... We do. We have two unused flint and steel on hand. Woo. Oh, Convenient. Yes. Extremely. Why am I carrying a cicada? They come everywhere from the Twilight Forest. They will make horrible noises if you place them down. Really? Yes. As, as someone who every few years their house turns into a cicada love nest on the outside, I have learned to hate the that noise. Let's see if I remember how this works. All right, plenty carrots, plenty wheat. I should probably go that redstone. Check the other farms. All right, well that one's still growing. No, we get. So many goddamn cicadas. It was actually one of the conversations Angel and I had when she moved up, because of course, in uh, Florida, they have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we, you know, we get cicadas and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yes, I'm aware. Uh, well, you know, we get blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, there are three, five, and seven year cicadas, supposedly. You know, that's how often they emerge from underground or whatever it is. We have all of them. <laughs> you know, all of the fucking things. And they you will just be in the middle of the night and all of a sudden start hearing ring, 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 <laughs> And it will come out of nowhere. It will just be a very and it will be all of the sudden, and you will think that the world is about to end because there is a horrible noise. Okay, I got the uh, modifier blocks. Well, this farm was effective. Created. Now I just have to remember how to make the uh, upgrade things to uh, make them work. Oh, this farm design is actually surprisingly effective for a low resource thing. I'm going to have to remember this. Let's see. Does that require a diamond too? Of course, I'm sure someone else is. That's the problem, isn't it, with Minecraft? You go, oh, I feel less smart because I've invented something useful. And meanwhile, nine other people probably invented it a year ago. You just never saw it. Uh-huh. It's like, well, God damn it. That's why I wanted to upgrade to the chicken, uh, well, not the upgrade to the chicken, upgrade to 1.5 as soon as the hopper came out, because I knew somehow we would invent something extremely useful with it. <laughs> and I wanted, I wanted to get it done as soon as possible, that way I could claim some type of intelligence. Like, see? See? <laughs> okay, I'm doing this completely wrong. Oh, the purple died, that's why I'm forgetting. Good job. Well done. I need to put more half slabs in here, really. All right. There are uh, Need to put something away. That can go. All right. Let me see. I think. Eventually, I will actually get this right because I'm doing everything wrong and out of sequence so far. Well, that's one of the key uh, key steps to getting things right. Doing everything wrong. Okay, put those there. That there. 
Okay, this, this seems familiar now. It's one of those funny things my mother always used to. Yeah. You know, if you keep doing things the hard way, you're just reinventing the wheel over and over. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I never understood this expression. <laughs> I mean, I get the idea as, oh, you're just doing the same thing someone who came before you did when you don't need to. But at the same time, uh, well, if you reinvent it, why can't you make it better? Right. Uh, that was one of those questions I asked that never got an answer. Like, well, if if I reinvent it, can I make it superior to the previous wheel? <laughs> and then somebody smacks you for being a smartass. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Because those are not questions you're supposed to ask. No. Like, my favorite day was when I found out that there's a second half to Curiosity Kills the Cat. Which actually is supposed to encourage you to be curious and ask questions. Who would have guessed? Yeah, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. So, the expression actually means sometimes you won't actually hear... Sometimes you'll hear things you don't want to hear because the truth isn't always nice, but at the same time, it's better to know the truth than be left in the dark. Right. So yes, this, the expression is actually supposed to encourage people to ask questions. Where are you at? I'm up on the uh, farming thing, also okay, known as a well, farm. Well, let's nap so I can go and uh, upgrade the portal at the far village. Just give me a quick moment. I'm uh, putting down a few light sources. That way, monsters won't spawn up here. Because I made a tactical error. This will take just a brief moment. There. We'll get the rest during the day. All right. I'm on my way. I have so much food. That's good. Yes, it's just, uh, wow, I think I overdid it with the farms. I think we could probably eliminate three. <laughs> All right. All right. There, I'll go back and read. I'm just going to light it up and we got, what, almost three full stacks of wheat. Um, the, we had only a few potatoes, so I've had to recycle those multiple times back then. <laughs> And we almost... That sounds terrible when you say it like that. What, recycle the potatoes? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, nothing about that sounds appetizing. <laughs> That's what it's like to grow up poor in Ireland. Oh, um, that was actually... A qu uh, I, oh, God, what was it? The guy who wrote the book Angela's Ashes, which is a horribly, horribly depressing book. You know, because it's about growing up poor in, you know, Ireland. Mm-hmm. Which apparently is pretty awful. Well, at least the growing up poor in Ireland is. But uh, his, uh, I saw an interview with him on Conan O'Brien ages ago. The guy is actually hilarious. And um, uh, he, just, but yeah, all of his books just horribly depressing. Uh, he's right. Well, well, that's you know, understandable. Right. But. The guy was hilarious. And, yeah, but he... Talk, uh, I never heard anyone make so many potato jokes before. <laughs> like, okay, it's a good thing, you know. I, I guess he's just... in. Uh, now that he's not from there anymore, it's okay. Sure. All right, yeah, that's... Okay, well, that's it. Best description I ever heard of the book Angela's Ashes was uh, poor Irish people dying. The book. Kind <laughs> of a. Okay. All right. Mm. Again, for some reason, I used to love reading the classic literature. He basically, I believe, admitted to writing the book because he, hate he was a school teacher and hated students. That's kind of awesome. Yeah. That's why I'd write a book. <laughs> Well, that's why either of us would do anything. Yeah. To cause other people to suffer. Yeah, and he was talking about like uh, when he was a school te he was a school teacher in the New York Public School District, and um, no wonder he hates students. Yeah, and he said that he was in charge of the English classes for children age ages uh, thirteen through seventeen, 
and creative writing was his main focus. Mm -hmm. So he used to get, as he put it, the most depressing, you know, just worst drivel he had ever read in his life, written by teenage girls. Because <laughs> it was always the teenage girls that were the ones that would write just monstrously depressing stories. You know, about people that fell in love, but they were never allowed, or but they could, you know, it wasn't meant to be, so they killed themselves. And But he said that wasn't, you know, the worst part. The worst part of it was that they would not pay attention to simple facts of reality. <laughs> like, they would write about, you know, taking, uh, they're from New York, they would write about taking, uh, how their love and them took a train to blah, you know, the L train to blah, and then they decided that they would die in each other's arms as they walked out into the ocean and watched the sun set in the east. He <laughs> 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 uh, would be like, all right, sit down, we need to talk. Uh, or he apparently got, or... I think he nearly got fired for basically telling a parent your child is retarded. <laughs> Alright, that worked. That's just a normal tree. I was hoping that was something fancy. Oh, well. I'm hoping I'll run into a tree for, like, the... You know, fucking gigant... Or a sapling for, like, the fucking gigantic trees that have a hollow inside. Oh, the did you go back over to Twilight? Nah. I'm sticking around this world for a bit. Just because I want to see if I can, uh, I want to make sure that I haven't done anything too stupid. Monsters won't spawn in the farms I created. I don't think they will. They're lit up now, but actually, what the hell am I worried about? I don't even know anymore. It beats me. I think I will. Actually, that's a good test. You're fairly far, so I'm going to hop back over to the Twilight Forest and see if uh, that'll cause lag issues on either end. Of course, it occurs to me only now that I should have upgraded the portal in the fortress first, and then headed off to upgrade the portal in the um, village. Yes. Well, I can. I do have access to the console. I can't always teleport you back if you need it. No, I'll just live with my mistake. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. Hmm. You know, I'll just have to make a trip back. Yeah. Alright. Let me dump crap in this crap dumping chest. I need to find... I need to get... I'll tell you what mod I really want. A mod that sorts your inventory. Have it. Yeah, I know they exist. I'm just too lazy to install. I mean, I have it. Oh. Well, there you go. There's, there are a couple of them I've actually played around with. And there's one that just has a button up at the top that, depending on how you want your inventory sorted, will sort it in different ways. Uh-huh. Yeah, inventory th tweaks. There you go. I'm going to have to look for that. Because that's the one thing I hate the most about Minecraft. Let's see. I'll send you the link later. Yay, tree explosion. <laughs> Better than treeception. Yes. I've run into that, actually, in the Twilight Forest, a tree within a tree. Once again, the gigantic ass trees. Oh, I'm gonna get her the sickly twilight oak saplings. Here. I've made pretty good time getting over here, at least. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, oh, I've uncovered a lot of resources. <laughs> Took out one of the gigantic trees up against a wall, and it, uh, was just coal everywhere behind it. Huh. Right. Eh. Why the hell am I doing that? There's another... Ah, who cares? It's a crafting table. We can always use more crafting tables. Yep. There's never a point in time where it is wrong to make a crafting table. Ooh. I want a world gen mod that makes, like, a crafting table biome. That would be awesome. And I wouldn't imagine that would be too hard to do. Probably not. 
It's just that I don't think anybody else cares about it nearly as much as we do. No, no one understands how, you know, beautiful crafting tables really are. Other than us. Right. Uh, well, probably end up being called, you know, crafting table Nazis or something over it. Because we believe in the pure beauty of crafting tables. Uh, yeah. No, I don't know. People like getting upset over any reason.